Welcome to Catch Can's Top Chef 2016 Heroes Edition. This is an amazing event because we're happy to partner up with our friends at the Coast Guard. The Chief Petty Officers Association has teamed up with KPU TV. I'm Michelle O'Brien with KPU TV, and you are? I'm Kevin Smith with the uh, Chief Petty Officers Association, Association in the U.S. Coast Guard. Sweet. We've got a great event, and we wanted to thank our sponsors, Tatsudas, Bernie's, Glory B, and several others around town, and they're the ones that made this happen tonight. All, as always, cooking for a cause right here at Catch Ken's Top Chef, right? So you've got some things on your agenda. I do. <laughs> he, had to, he had to check the minute by minute. <laughs> well, sh we didn't really practice this too much before we started tonight. <laughs> so. Okay, yeah. I, <laughs> she so, feels like she's not getting her money's worth. <laughs> we had to rehearse sometimes, so we just do it in front of everybody. It works out better. So I do have something on my schedule. I had to think about it for a second. So The most uh, important the thing. The most important thing. So we'd like to welcome you all here tonight. And uh, part of the uh, Chiefs Association, one of the things that we do at every meeting is we stand up and say the pledge. So we're all going to invite you to stand up with us. For turn, we're going to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America to, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Game on! So remember, we are filming this for KPU TV like we always have, so we'd like for it to be quiet on the set. However, the bar is open. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I should hold the applause sign for that. <laughs> so I think what we ought to do is introduce our major sponsor, 100th anniversary, and a judge, a returning judge, I might add, as well as our other esteemed celebrity foodies from around town. Foodies and chefs. I'm very pleased and honored to welcome Catherine Tatsuda. The Tatsuda family has been part of Ketchikan for a hundred years this year. They are amazing. And Catherine, all right, so in case any of y'all have complaints up there, she chose the secret ingredients tonight. <laughs> Would you like to offer any insight into why you chose those? I was trying to think of products that would highlight the store. <laughs> what would be really cool that would people would think, wow, they sell Cheerios. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, really, yeah. And mango jalapeno sausage and, you know, chili pepper leaves and all sorts of fun stuff. So Catherine also did something that was really, really tricky. Because some of our chefs, you know, we're not really evil. We give them the ingredients ahead of time. Because how hard is it to cook in front of all of you, a live studio audience, with ingredients that you don't know? So we give them in advance, but Catherine pulled them all off the shelves. As Karen Jackson <laughs> is tapping her finger. <laughs> so these guys like to practice, but there was nothing for them to practice with. <laughs> I, 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 saw, I saw Steve writing in there earlier with handfuls of sausages. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Barbecue at Steve's house. There you go. <laughs> Next up, Shauna Lee, an amazing foodie and entertainer in and of herself. She's also a cookbook author. Cheesecake for the love of cheesecake. Yes. It's got sexy stories about cheesecake in it. Yeah. And the stories feature uh, <laughs> and the stories feature local people that you might know. So if you read it, you might get some insight into their favorite cheesecake. Okay, so Shauna has been a judge for how many times? I, I can't remember. A few times. A few times. Like super lots. <laughs> Cameo McRoberts, super awesome local chef 
into local ingredients, everything fresh. Uh, let's get your little take on this tonight. Uh, I'm super excited to see what is done with the sausage. <laughs> and uh, I've got my eye on a few people out there, so I'll be watching. <laughs> and I see no seaweed or limpets on the table, so. Okay, well, she's a single woman, so we won't expound on the sausages thing. <laughs> Deja, Deja is an amazing champion of Top Chef herself, as well as being a judge. And I'd like for you to talk a little bit tonight about how you directly benefited from the Chief Petty Officers Association and their charitable works around town. Well, as some of you know, my daughter has a rare bone disease called chronic multifocal osteomyelitis. It is a her body's eating her bones from the inside out. Um, it's quite rare, one in a million kids get it, or one in a million people have it, I should say. And it's eating her bones away, and she is struggling at simple daily tasks. So she is getting a service dog. We actually go in 18 days to pick it up. Um, but they helped us, the Coast Guard helped us raise money to pay for the dog. It was $15,000 and they raised it and then some to help us pay for our trip to go to pick up this dog. So we, uh, we're really grateful for that and they've been amazing and still continue to be amazing. They still continue to check in on us to see how Alexis is doing and we've made some pretty special, amazing relationships along the way with a lot of the Coast Guard. Yay. That's awesome. I think that's a great, great story about everything that the Coast Guard does for Ketchikan, and that's why Ketchikan is a Coast Guard city, right? And of course, the uh, anonymous LaDonna Gunderson, <laughs> cookbook author, she travels all over the world talking about salmon. <laughs> And normally you can find her on her salmon boat when you're not in Hawaii, right? right? All right. So you have been a judge many times. What was your favorite memory about being a judge in years past? Oh, no. <laughs> Great question. Uh, I don't know. Being a celebrity is, Shauna. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, yeah, I'm watching Shauna eat seafood. There. <laughs> There you go. So she's an amazing person, and we really appreciate the fact that she really promotes Catch Can worldwide. Now, last but not least, one of my favorite ever comfort food cookers, Richard Garcia. Hello, good evening. It's a pleasure to be here, along with this beautiful panel. All these. I am. I am. <laughs> it's a small town. <laughs> but it's a nice town. That's why we live here. Um, I just, I'm just willing to see what they're going to do with these uh, tastios. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. We had to have some testosterone overriding all of these ladies. I'd also like to uh, mention the fact that we have a very special group of guests here tonight, at least for KPU-TV and certainly for our community. Um, there is a group in town, and you know, we think about all the great things that, that Catch Can does. Uh, overall, whether it be the arts or charity or youth, you name it, but Project Healing Waters is a group that brings uh, severely wounded veterans right here to Catch a Can for a week of fly fishing every year and they do so free of charge, and Gary Morfitt is over there, my buddy, uh, and they have brought a group here tonight, and if you haven't heard about their charity, you should learn a little bit more about it because they have done amazing things, certainly growing by leaps and bounds in the last five years. So welcome, guys. So who wants to know the method behind the madness for some of these chef testins. Like, would you have done this? Would you have done? No. Would you have done this? No. <laughs> How about you? No. Okay, so everyone admires their bravery, right? 
Okay, well, I'm going to turn it over to Kevin. He's going to interview some of these chef testins. So we have uh, four great teams tonight. We're going to take a minute to have let them introduce themselves and talk about the charity that they're cooking for tonight. So we're going to start with the first team right here, uh, representing one of the Coast Guard teams. So Karen Jackson. you got to speak up so they can hear you. Karen Jackson, Karen and Jackson. my charity is uh, the Coast Guard Spouses Association of Ketchikan. Okay. Can we do this? Go, yeah. Joe Ander, um, cooking my charity is for the CPOA. And, and I'll just clarify, the CPOA is the Chief Petty Officers Association, so we'll clarify that. So. Now we've got a sleeper team in here. We always have to have surprises in Top Chef, right? So we called it the Heroes Edition, but who here doesn't think that Wish is not a hero in our town? They're amazing, right? They're super cool. But these ladies, sisters, have an amazing background in food. Why don't you give us a little glimpse into your foodie background? No pressure. We come from a strong line of cookers. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is a really fabulous cook. Dad, not so much. <laughs> is, is Dad here tonight? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I, I do need to remind you that that is on TV, so. All right, sleepers right there. Keep an eye on these ladies. So I'm, I'm slightly concerned with introducing this team for multiple reasons. And I won't, I won't say which reason why I'm concerned about introducing this team. Oh, hi. Why do you have your hand above his head? I, hey, he's as bad as I am. All right, so uh, we'll, let, we'll let this team introduce themselves. We, we'll worry about him, so go ahead. Hi, I'm Mike Duxbury. And you are with who? Oh. Who do you, you want to know who I'm with? Yeah. I'm with you? No. <laughs> oh, oh. What I do for a living? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Love is in the air. I can't hear me. Can you, can you hear me? Okay. So go ahead. You oh, you want me to tell them? Yeah. Oh. I'll ask you state troopers. Oh. I'm not. Oh, you're my, aren't you with me? Aren't you with Talk me? Talk directly into it. All right. So go ahead and talk into the mic. Tell them who you are. Who am I? We have to help. We have oh. to help Steve. My name is Steve Rydine. I am uh, the fire chief of South Tonga Swallow Fire Department. I, I'm proud of what I do, but I am also the incoming president for for City Rotary. We meet at seven. A, we meet at seven a.m. on Thursday mornings at K Fox. You're welcome to show up for breakfast. We're always looking for new new people, and our charity. Ducks and I he is going to be the Boys and Girls Club of Catch Again. So that's what, that's what we're going for. And we have to give Kevin a hard time because he's a member of our Rotary Club. But you know what? What's more important? Everybody likes a twist, right? You guys want a little twist in this? Uh oh. I think thank you, Cook. I you know here's the twist in tonight's th thing. We've got the food. We've got the directions. We're going to be the host. They're going to cook the meal. Everybody like that? Yeah. There you go. So, grab the mic and we'll let I, I, you. I don't think my contract I signed was for cooking. It was more talking. And, and I need to remind you that, that doing this will cost you on Thursday. Oh, yes. so. so It always does. All right. We're going to move, we're going to move on to our final, our final team here. So... Well, let's slide behind here and uh, and go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Taylor McElroy with the U.S. Coast Guard. I'm Michael Starnes with the Coast Guard as well. Okay, and your and your uh, and your charity that you guys are cooking for. Uh, the can you hear me? Yeah. The Catch Can Humane Society. Sweet. And uh, since this is on camera, I want to make sure, and uh, let's go ahead and ask you about your boss. Do you like working for your boss? <laughs> Kevin, Wait, are you can I call you Kevin? <laughs> you're, you're a pleasure to work for, Kevin. Okay. All right. Just, I just wanted to get that on film. So I, I, I've, already, I've already done his evaluation for the year, so we're, we're good. We'll see. All right. So how does it work? How does it work? 
Now, this, this chair is a little bit different. If you've been to other Top Chefs, you will remember that the charity that won would take home the ticket sales for their charity. Not so this year. The CPOA this year has decided that they would send the ticket sales to the Jeff Shelton Family Memorial Fund. So with that being said, there is a pot back there on by the TV on the coffee table where you can drop in dollars and the winning pot or the winning team that receives the most dollar votes will take that amount of cash home for their charity. So we've got double charities going on here. Yeah, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to, uh, to, to really bless two different uh, charities, the ones up here and then the, and then the family fund. So please, uh, during the, the break of the intermission, please go back there and drop your money in the, in the pot. Of the great, great benefit for uh, everybody. All right, so judges, I know you guys have been here before. 15 points for creativity, 15 points for taste, and 15 points for presentation. Now, we're also going to welcome you all up here to be able to taste this food. That's why there's forks, there's paper plates. We're going to have 60 minutes on the clock, 25 minutes for them to cook, a 10-minute intermission, and 25 minutes more. If they run out of time, they're out of luck. The first team that finishes will present to the judges first, and then the judges, after all the teams have presented, will retire to the ward room to mull it over. Now, I'll tell you what, uh, the judges for our prelim here a week ago, they were kind of brutal, right? Yeah, it was a great a great preliminary we did a couple weeks ago with, uh, with four Coast Guard teams, and, and our judges were on point. They were very specific, and it was a very difficult time to judge and we ended up with the with the two Coast Guard teams we have up here and so it was an exciting time that we did it's kind of a little a little teaser for uh, Top Chef tonight all right excellent so let's talk about the secret ingredients Ms. Catherine look at you mm-hmm na 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 first one would you like to talk a little bit about why in the heck you I'll, chose these I'll, I'll go I'll walk up here please Everyone's saying they're good. I believe that those are um, spicy mango and jalapeno smoked chicken sausages. Who wouldn't want to try those? They are, they sound amazing. And I've, I've actually eaten them, they're pretty darn good. So, so those are fun and interesting and unique. And what do you have there? Oh, lumpia wrappers, is that right? Yeah. Lumpia wrappers. Absolutely. And ingredient number three. Coconut milk. Mmm. Yes. I was staring at the Asian section going, what should I choose? Not quail eggs this year. So coconut milk it was. <laughs> yeah, quail eggs, that was dastardly. <laughs> I really thought back in the day when you chose the high chew candy, that yeah. was really yes. not cool. Or the marshmallow peeps. Those were fun too. Wrong time of year though, I guess. So. Okay, and? And, oh, those are brand new in the store. We just brought those in. Those are um, chili pepper leaves. And uh, we have a whole selection of different types of leaves that's very popular with the Filipino community. So I thought it would be fun to try those. And, I mean, really, who doesn't love IGA brand Cheerios? <laughs> We're hoping for Cheerio One, two, necklaces three, over here, four. just saying. Are we allowed to do Cheerios in the coconut milk? Is that an authorized dish or no? You'll eat that? Okay. Is there one more ingredient that we have not told them about yet? There is one more ingredient. And I see Mr. Lawler heading back to the wardroom to grab Jacob the Camera Dude's Uber Top Secret Ingredient. Now remember, folks, that these teams have to use every single ingredient. So, so can we point out for the crowd who Jake is, the, where is he at? Yeah, right up there. Everyone, if you're mad, you that's Jacob the Camera Dude. So for the contestants, this is your guy that picked your secret ingredient, so. <laughs> and so here it comes. Should we, should we let, who? It looks kind of heavy. 
Drum roll, please. So, uh, Michelle, Michelle, we have, we, we have oh, a judge. Oh, Shauna Lee, look at her yeah. face. <laughs> so, let's, so let's talk about spam just a little. So what, you're, you're, you're wincing in pain over here. My, my husband cooks spam omelets every morning. It is, it is not my favorite smell. So we can see the we can see the teams kind of uh, consulting one another. Now remember, here's the deal, guys. All they have to use is a portion of the ingredients. All right. I don't think that they were expecting spam. Now my idea, based on my background, was that we should do MREs. But I thought that would be too easy, right? Because you could just dab a little Tabasco in there, or throw the M&Ms in, or whatever. So I thought spam. Back in the day, spam was a military thing. So what do you think, Kevin? That's I, tough. So I, I really like the idea of spam, but I'm, I'm kind of curious. I see, I see oh, Steve back here having unpleasant thoughts about spam. So what do you think about spam? Personally, I like spam. It's that mystery meat that you just, you get something out of. Yeah. I mean, if you go to Hawaii, there's a lot of spam in Hawaii, right, let's, correct? Let's get a look here. So we know what we're going to do. <laughs> All right, so what do you guys think about the spam? I think it plays actually perfectly into our dish. We'll see how it goes. These guys have been cool, calm, and collected all the way. And All right, are ladies. Are you guys worried? Not worried, but this is something that's been banned from my household. <laughs> my fiance had a lot of spam before we met. <laughs> All right, going down towards the end, Miss Karen, what do you think? Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. All right, very cool. We have a timer. We've got 60 minutes on the clock. We'll stop it in time. We'll stop it in time for the intermission. Are you ready to go, Dave the Time Dude? All right, on your mark, get set, go. What's on what's on the agenda tonight? Well, we're gonna we're gonna cook us some dinner. <laughs> They're not being really helpful. They're gonna cook us some dinner. And what did y'all cook last week? Uh, last time we cooked uh, ramen noodles with uh, scallops with sriracha uh, sriracha lime sauce. So the Coast Guard had a secret ingredient last week for their prelims, and it was ramen noodles. But they kind of cheated a little bit because they allowed everyone to go out and buy their other five secret ingredients. Michelle. Lindsay, what you got on the table? Onions. Well, I know you got onions. What are you thinking about cooking? Curry. Curry. All righty. So what, one of the questions up front was the ingredients that they brought in. So the teams were given the list of their ingredients the week ago, so they knew what the, the ingredients from Tatsudas was going to be, and they were able to bring in their own supplies also, so some of the food they're cooking will be, that's why there's a variety of food they're cooking. So they brought in some of their own ingredients from their, their own, uh, decide what dishes they're going to make. So I'm looking around and I'm thinking to myself, all right, Kelly, come up here. Oh yeah, get on down here, girl. All right, 
Kelly is an awesome Navy veteran and a hero in and of herself. She's amazing. So, and she is a fantastic cook. So what, I mean, off the top of your head, what do you think that you would cook? I mean, I'm speechless. Well, one of my specialties is cheese spaghetti, but I'd have to incorporate the spam somehow. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, so let's do this, because Kelly did something really, really, really special, excuse me. All right, y'all, this is super cool. I want to wear one of these. So Kelly makes aprons. And she made, regardless of who wins, she made, here, hold these, honey. Each contestant gets a custom apron from Kelly. Now, there's some really cool ones over here. These are awesome. All right. These are old ones. All right. Who likes the Seahawks one? Woohoo! So they're really, really awesome. There's girls and guys. And so if you want to contact Kelly about getting your own custom apron, I myself have one that is full of cows because that's kind of me in the kitchen. So, show the. Yeah. So, we'll pass these around. Here, throw this around. Almost five minutes in. Very cool. I'm seeing a lot of cabbage going in, lettuce going in over here. Got the sausage going, mixers. Hey, Kevin. Yes. Let's take the pulse of the judges. Got it. All right, I'd like, I'd like to know who here wants to know what the judges would have cooked. Because I don't know. Yeah, everyone wants to know. Oh, Catherine oh. or Shauna. Like you chose the ingredients. I did choose them because I knew I wouldn't have to cook them. Um, I would have gone over to Cameo's house with them. That's, that's my answer. I am thinking that I probably would have made a jambalaya. And I probably would. Yeah, I see some jambalaya going on. And I probably would have incorporated those tastios into a hush puppy of some kind oh, to go nice. along with nice. very the cool, jambalaya. Very cool. But that's just me. Oh, and I see them doing that over there right now. I believe that I would have started out with a nice thin crust of tastios blended finely in the blender and with a light egg wash onto a lumpia wrapper with just the tiniest, tiniest little, uh, yes, Okay, uh, everyone, everyone needs to go eat at Cameo's house. Because that's and then awesome. a big old scoop of spam. <laughs> We're going to her house. I'm not cooking. Dinner party at Cameo's. All right, I want to hear what Richard has to say. I, 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 to me personally, I would have uh, pulled the um, uh, sausage casing off. That way, you get a meat product, and you got you're not one dimensional. Left with the sausage. So, uh, where's my Seahawks apron? Who's got Who's got the Seahawks apron? Where'd it go? Hang on. Uh oh, here we go. Uh, oh no! All right, where's my Seahawks apron? Right back there. All right, I got the hat to go with it, so I need the apron. There we go. I'm ready. Oh, I did. You're ready I, now. I did see somebody Can wearing a. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, there. <laughs> I just, Perfect. I did see. I did see a 49ers apron earlier. I won't. I won't point out who that oh. was. So, so we'll just stand here and. And we'll just say who the better team is, right? Who's won more Super Bowls? We won't talk about that. 
What are you What are you doing over here? She won't tell me. She won't tell me. I see a walk-in flag. A lot of pounding. I don't know. So while they're cooking, we have a, a special guest that we'd like to invite up front. So during during the introductions, we talked about uh, about Healy Waters and the program they do here in Ketchikan. So I want to give Gary an option to kind of talk about his program and how maybe you, the community, can help them out. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about your program and how maybe we can help you. Good evening. Project Healing Waters is a um, nonprofit corporation no, no, that no, no, brings no. together <laughs> veterans and um, active duty yep. personnel okay. for an Alaska experience. Oh, What do we got going on over here? Bribing the judges. Bribing the judges. Okay, Gary. We bring up uh, deserving heroes for an Alaska experience for 10 or 12 days of fishing and crabbing and shrimping and a chance for them to rehabilitate recreationally, socially with other veterans and uh, active duty personnel. Um, it, it's a very rewarding situation for the group, small group of us that bring them up. Uh, last year we had 68 veterans that um, served, came up with us and spent the week here in town. And we're uh, open to anything that you can give or support us with. And we thank you very much for being open to us. So if, if the community wanted to help your program, how would they get in contact with you guys? Website? Is there a... Um, Healing Towers has a website. Um, Healing Towers is a home in Moser Bay. Uh, there is a website there or through Project Healing Waters uh, and designate Healing Towers. Okay, cool. so I've had the opportunity to be to see these guys in action. I've had the opportunity to be out at the, at the Healing Towers out in Moser Bay at the house. It's a wonderful thing they do for veterans and, and wounded warriors in the community. And so if you have the ability to help support the program, it'd be a great opportunity. So we thank you for all you guys do for our veterans and our warriors. And uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Show them the back of your shirt. <laughs> all right, a little over 10 minutes have passed. And we've got We've got a lot going on right now. Each team is making markedly different dishes, and it is pretty darn amazing. I mean, there's a flurry of activity, like always. Who knows what they're gonna come up with, especially with the added ingredient of spam. This is really smelling good right over here. If you're sitting on this side of the room, woo! Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick on you right here. So what do you think so far? I don't know yet. <laughs> you don't know yet? Is is there any particular team that you're rooting for? Sorry? Is there any particular group that you're rooting for to win? What over there? Oh, over here, Joan Karen. Okay. Hi, Mary. How are you doing? Yeah, you're married. You, you can't take no. Mary's picture? taking a picture. Mary's taking a picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. We gotta, we gotta go to TV together, Mary. Kevin, ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Homemade ice cream happening right now. I have to, I have to clear with my wife if I can have ice cream. So. All right. Can I have ice? Oh, she's not listening to me. Is it okay to have ice cream? Your wife is saying no. My wife is saying no. Your wife is saying absolutely not. Yeah. So. Hey guys, remember one of the big things is that they could not bring in anything pre-prepared, which is why they're making ice cream right now. Look, yep, they, they like that. The judges like that a lot. Oh, wait, 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 Okay, talk into the mic. It took, a, it took me a lot to get my hair to look like this this evening. 
Uh, I want to know a little bit about the ingredients that they were allowed to bring in and how those were chosen. Every, every contestant, every team was allowed to bring in any ingredient that they wished as long as it was not pre-prepared. So for example, they're making ice cream because they could not bring in a half gallon of already prepared ice cream. Make sense? Although, who else is smelling something burning? Yeah. yeah. Is that you boys? Don't think so. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, are you the one that I thought was 24 years old last yes, week? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I don't know, maybe I was, I don't know, kind of hoping or whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys have been remarkably cool and collected and very, very silent over here. What's going on? Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. I smell it now. Who here likes barbecue sauce? Oh, yeah. So I got to know, did she con you into this? Not at all. You guys make a great team. Ms. Lindsay. You are the gourmet, I mean, you make these dishes that are in the stratosphere. No. What are you doing? Uh, wow, holy. Just let me go like this for a little bit. Wow, okay, what you got going on? This is a Jamaican curry jambalaya mix. We're calling it currying your favor. <laughs> currying your favor, I like it. Very cool. Okay. They've got roughly 10 minutes left. I'd like, to, I'd like to invite at this point the judges to come down and do a little look-see, do a little pre-tour. Take a look before we invite our studio audience to come up. And I would like to remind you for the folks back here in the back, we still have the, uh, the donation box back here by the TV, so please while you're standing back there, don't forget to donate to these wonderful charities. Where's Laura at? The people in the back are not following the rules, but hopefully they're bidding often and bidding high. We've got some stuff going on here with the Lumpia wrappers. Very cool. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got, we've got roughly at least five minutes left. If you have a People's Choice vote, feel free to go over there and drop your dollar in. Make sure you note the names of the team that you want to vote for. So Kevin, yes, I got to ask you, you're looking kind of spiffy there, man. Thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm obviously supporting my favorite team. Can I wear your other hat? Are you gonna change soon? He brought like eight outfit changes tonight. For real. Hey, I gotta, I gotta spice it up a little. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I think you ought to change into your new outfit. Okay, all right, all right. Maybe need, a new need, apron need, too. I need another apron. Who's got the aprons? We're back there. I'll go find another apron. Yeah, we don't wanna get rid of those aprons. Oh, I got it. All right, judges are carefully looking at stuff. Hey, Kevin, we've got we've got some on-site judge commentary here. Not not to put you guys on the spot or anything. All right, what do you think so far? Oh, I think it looks great. I it, smells it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Hey, I, it's gonna be tough. There's some chipotle right behind us. Looks good too. And some yellow curry. Yeah. All right, and remember, we're going to give you guys 10 minutes okay. to judge. After you taste everything, 10 minutes. We are going to need the 10 full minutes. All right, so hopefully you ate no dinner because you'll be eating four tonight. All right, good deal. All righty. I got to come back here and ask my wife to help dress me. Oh. Six more minutes until we do an intermission and you folks can come up and see what these guys are doing. 
All right, so let's get a little audience input here. Can I put you on the spot? They're like, woo, I think so. <laughs> you were just sitting there in anonymity. So what do you think? You guys are kind of observing, it's crowded, people are cooking. What would you have done? Would you be freaking out right now? Yeah. <laughs> so what would you have cooked? What would I what? Sorry. What would you have cooked? Uh, tacos. I like tacos. Tacos. All right, tacos. Definite audience input here. All right. I'm awesome at cooking. You're awesome at cooking? Yeah. Do you know that several years ago, we actually had a child your age compete and she won? That's true. Hey, how are you? Okay, let's invite the judges to go back to their uh, pillars. Wait, 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 you took food with you? Because Kevin, Kevin has uh, decided to uh, grace his Coast Guard friends with yet another wardrobe change. <laughs> I have to be careful because if I lean my head too far one way or another, it'll, it'll fall off. But I uh, decided to bring my Viking out. I, mean, I don't know if it matches my apron a whole lot, but. How does it stay on there? It's, the ruffles look good. Thank you. I look way better. I can't. I got to balance my head because if I go too far, it'll, it'll fall off. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I was hoping the Viking hat was going to inspire some sort of cooking back here, but. Uh, I don't, I don't think it I is. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. 39 minutes. We're at the 38 minute mark now. As soon as we hit 35. As soon as we hit 35, we're gonna take a 10 minute intermission. And the people over there in the bar can continue what they're doing right now. But what we'd also like to invite you all to do is we have a great silent auction over there that was put together with the K-Hi Honor Society as well as Laura Ladd. Is Laura around? She might be busily working. I'll go find her. So there's a great silent auction over there and again this will go to the Shelton Family Memorial Fund and some businesses have donated fantastic prizes to this. I also wanted to make a mention of the businesses that have donated uh, the stuff that you see behind us, uh, specifically uh, Glory B, Lenora Eichner owns that, and that's out in the old Ketchikan Veterinary Clinic building on Eichner Avenue, and all of the signs and all the really cute stuff that was donated by her, as well as Bernie's in the plaza donated that, all right, I call it the Harley style KitchenAid mixer. Who here knew that KitchenAid mixers come in literally 80 colors. I had no idea. So like, I mean, clearly like four colors, right? Dave, honey? Um, so they did that and they also donate, donated a great gift certificate tonight, as well as Tatsudas, of course, did the entire pantry. And so many, many other businesses around town. So give them a shout out and by all means shop local. Did you, did you locate her? Yeah, I found her. Ms. Ladd. I had to do a little search and rescue, but we found her. Search and rescue, there hey, you go. Yeah, you, come on. Yeah, that would be you. And a new Rotarian at that. Hello. So we're, we're just kind of inquiring of what's going on back here in the, in the back corner of the room. Oh, yes. You so we loud, have, loud. Really loud. all right. So we have a silent auction that's being hosted by um, the Ketchikan High School National Honor Society. And they've worked really hard. They've gone around town and they've asked for the support of lots of local businesses to donate items. And so we'd like to encourage you, if you have a minute, to go back and take a look at those silent auction items. Um, there's everything ranging from 12 cakes in a year for a cake every month for a year, which, by the way, I'll tell you from personal experience, they're delicious cakes. Um, that. to night stays at Cape Fox Lodge. It's a lot of really cool stuff. And the students did this on their own initiative because they wanted to do something to help the Shelton family. So, did I, did I satisfy your oh, question? Oh, that, that's good. So do we, have a lot of, do we have a lot of bidding going on back there? We do. And so there was a buy now option. Um, however, that did come to a close, I think. 
but I think they're being very generous and I think they're still allowing folks to do the buy now option. Um, so a lot of the things that I had bid on, I've, I've been personally mingling around the uh, silent auction items because there's a lot of really good stuff, a lot of really good deals. And every time I come around, someone has exercised the buy now option. So there's a lot of really good stuff going quickly. Um, but it is still going on. So the first round of auction items is going to be at 8.05 at the intermission. And those are going to be the orange items. And then at 8.50, while the judges are figuring out their tally of who is their favorite uh, chef. And by the way, it smells delicious way back, way back. So, um, and at 8.50, we'll be doing the second round of silent auction items, which are going to be the blue items. All righty. Guess what time it is. No, 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 no. All right. We have a 10-minute intermission. Please feel free to go back and check out the silent auction items. Imbibe in the food and drink from the bar, if you wish. And by all means, engage the chefs. Please do not get in their way. I think they're nervous enough. So we'll see you in 10. You know, one of the really cool things about this event, having it at the Crow's Nest, is that everyone is having such a super awesome time. But it also means that I have to hang this sign up. So I'm gonna get my trusty assistant to run it back to the auction area. And we've got some important auction news coming up, right, Kevin? Yeah, we're uh, gonna announce the winners of the first auction. I'm waiting on Rachel to come up here. As soon as we get Rachel, we'll announce the uh, winners for the orange auction, the first auction. And you know what? It is crunch time, guys. They've got 23 minutes. Now we were talking, I know, right? We were talking in the ward room just now, and I have a feeling I have a feeling, Kevin, I don't know what you think, but I think some teams are gonna be done early. Now here's how it works. Whatever team is done first, gets to present to the judges first. Now, judges, we're, we're do, not, do not penalize, and Shauna, you know this, LaDonna, you know this. If they have to wait, you cannot penalize them for having something that's maybe lukewarm, okay? That's not their fault, they have to wait Every team is going to present to the judges. Presentation, creativity, and... I don't remember the last one. Taste. taste. <laughs> so I'm a little concerned that we're missing some of our judges. We are missing. Have, have we gone to the bar? Are, I think they're, they're probably at the bar. Gone to the bar. Okay, judges, if you're at the bar, we need you back. All right, I saw Rachel a second ago. Rachel, where are you? Come on. Come All right, on, Rachel. Rachel, come on down. I thought they offered uh, like a uh, uh, service to the judges. <laughs> Cameo's like, I'm all about that. Yes. Okay, so Rachel from the National Honor Society, right? Yes. Okay, Rachel's gonna announce our winners for our first auction, so. Right. Okay, be really loud. Okay. We have, for the full loud, water. Loud. Really loud. Okay. For full water truck load from Southeast Services, we have Bray Johnson for $45. Nice, very cool. So there they, is it B. Johnson? Bray. Bray? Did we get that right? Who are you? Wait a second, what was that auction item? Is it too late to outbid? <laughs> yes, it's too late to outbid. Oh, darn it. Okay, all right, next. We needed uh, that, honey. The, the next one. We have three fuzzy attitude statues and five hitch truck covers for Irina for $18. She's like, wait, I don't remember bidding on that. We, we, we aren't even gonna 
Yeah, it's you. We, we're not going to say your last name, though, because I, I can't pronounce no. it. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. For our next item, we have 200 lightly scented wooden roses for Cleo. We have your number, so if we can't pronounce your name, we'll, we'll be okay. I'm like, they already got, they already got the kangaroo back yeah. there. For our next item, we have Optimus Fitness Classes, an Optimus Fitness Bag, and an Advil Care Packet. One by Edwin for $25. Wait, I should have had a proxy bidder. These are awesome prizes. For our and next so item, we have an Alaska-made blueberry plate. One by Mary Ash Agos. Mary, I know right where you're sitting. Yeah, woo for our next item, we have a miniature espresso sheen, one by Brock Margaret for $85. Hold up the kangaroo. Hold up the kangaroo. <laughs> for our next item, we have a GPS keychain and two oil changes from Schwab Ellison, one by Ed Edward Shesh for $85. All right, uh, who was that? Let me, Ed, I want Sesh. his phone number, I'm calling him because I want that prize. He's back there, I think he's back cooking. For our next item, we have a one night stay Mountain View King room at Cape Box, paired with a Bar Harbor breakfast for two, one by Gary Moffitt. Moffitt, Moffitt, Healy Waters. Moffitt for $175. Woo! For our next item, we have a baseball puzzle, oh, baseball trivia book, and a $25 gift certificate to Parnassus, one by Sydney Perry for $35. Yes, very cool. For our next item, we have a handmade spalted alder bowl, a handmade core tropical scented candle paired with ch a chopstick rest, and a hand-turned poplar bowl, one by Gary Mor Morfitt for $110. Yay, Gary! Gary, Thanks that's good. Really yeah, Gary, great job. For our next item, we have a day on the morale boat, halibut fishing for four. One by Elizabeth East. What was it? What was the last name? I, I can't hear it. Einstein? Yes. yes. Einset, Elizabeth Einset. For our next, for our next item, we have a Donna's forty-dollar gift certificate and ten tan from His and Hairs, paired with a poshy bag with soap, hand lotion, and a foot stick. Also with a Scentsy warmer and two refills and a wax stirrer. One by Leticia Garcia for forty-five dollars. Yeah. For our last item, we have an eagle gathering bag and a scarf, won by Diana Garfield. Garfield for $50. All right. Very cool, guys. If you heard your name called, please go to the back with the silent auction, and we will, you can collect your prize. All right. Thank you, We Rachel. are down to almost, Kevin, holy smokes. We're almost down to the 15-minute mark. I'm seeing some big things happening back there. Well, I, I'm not Wontons, even cooking. Wontons, skewers. Mike, Mike is doing something over here. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. He's trying to do something with the spam. Some of the salt out of the spam by soaking it in a little bit of uh, uh, alcoholic, but um, uh, uh, cider. So I'm not even cooking, and I'm, I'm kind of sweating up here. So I can only imagine what these guys are going through. You know, it's, it's very interesting. It's very interesting to think about the cooks that are up here because this is the judges, just so you know this, the, this year is the first year that we've actually had trained chefs up here. So many of you, almost all of you are trained chefs. Yeah, Deja's like, not me, them. Yeah, but you won this. Yeah. So, Captain Duxbury, just so you know, from the Troopers, was trained at Johnson & Wales in Rhode Island and was also trained in France as a chef. 
How cool is that, right? So I have a question. How does so how does your training as a chef help you as a trooper? <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't want to know. And Mrs. Mrs. Jackson over here, you have training as a chef as well, correct? But you also now we don't typically allow practicing chefs to compete in this competition. However, there is no baking involved, but you can check her awesome creations out at Sweet Mermaids all the time. So where were you trained? Uh, University of Hawaii. University of Hawaii. And Miss Lindsay, I think that, oh wow, I see some powdered sugar going down over here. You were maybe trained as a chef as well, correct? Not trained, but worked in restaurants. <laughs> All right, lots of restaurant experience, but you can check her out on KBU TV all the time. All right, so we're down to 14 minutes. Just over 14 minutes left to go. So Holy our, our uh, chefs are working, working busily to get this done. They're plating up right now. And right. standing up here, it smells wonderful. I know, it smells amazing. All right, let's do a quick rundown right here. We've got some wonton stuff. We've got skewers, we've got a rice bowl, wonton dessert. Right, Dean, I'm not sure what you got going on here. Spam, baby, spam. <laughs> and check this out, Kevin. Look over here. I He's plating it up like we're in a French restaurant. It's impressive, Kevin. All right, now. I don't want to ignore these guys, because these guys are Coast Guard dudes. Please do not set off the fire alarm. We'll try not to. Can you go with the uh, Oh my. Okay, so what do you got going on? So we're making a little bowl here with the, uh, the lumpia wrappers. And uh, that's what our gumbo is going to be going in. Sweet. All righty. Who thinks they're going to be done first? Right here. All right. The Clee sisters think they'll be done first. What do you think, Kevin? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with them. They look like they're they're uh, moving quite along. Come on. All right. We have an audience question here for Miss Linda. Say it real loud. What's the protein or the extra thing they brought to add to their, to make the main part of their dish? Okay, so all of the contestants were allowed to bring whatever else that they wanted, okay? Now, if you'll roll it back a couple of years, I know you were there, we had like people coming in with like trailers full of stuff. It was crazy. So let's go down the line and see what these folks brought that was extra. What did y'all bring that was extra? Uh, we brought some uh, chicken broth, bell peppers, uh, green onions, parsley, and onions and garlic. All right, so fresh stuff. What did y'all bring that was extra? We brought uh, cider, we brought uh, lime powder, we brought yellow curry, and Cajun spice, and uh, uh, asparagus and uh, vegetables. So lots and lots and lots of stuff. All right, ladies, what did you bring that was extra? We brought sweet potato, ginger, um, definitely my chef knives were important. Uh, what else? Garlic, pear, onion, lemon. pear, lemon. All right, par for the course. They're sisters. They both talk at once. I know this. I've got two daughters. All right, guys, what did you bring that was extra? Pineapple. Pineapple. Shrimp. Shrimp. Uh, let's see. Strawberry, yep. Strawberries and kiwis. All right, pineapple shrimp, strawberries and kiwis. All right, over your left. This is going to be tough, you guys. This is going to be super duper tough. So I'm standing. Let's, I'm, let's I'm, get a little run down here because right, I, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. I'm standing over here listening to the our, our judges here shout encouragement. I think. Yeah, it was definitely encouragement, encouragement yeah. to some of our contestants. So what do we think so far? 
I think that there's some really amazing smells going on in here. Um, there might be some fires happening any moment now. And we told them we told them not to deep fry anything, and yeah. of course they all did. They all deep fried. But you know, with, when you have a lumpia wrapper, you've got to fry something in it. So uh, yeah, I, we're very excited to taste everything that everybody's making. You're just happy there's no seafood, right? So. <laughs> oh, you got it down there, though. So if we do, do happen to set something on fire, we're okay because we've got Steve right in here for the fire department. Yeah, right. The fire us. chief is here. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Oh. Look at that. Whoa. Holy smokes. All right. Nine minutes and 36 seconds left. The Clee sisters are done. All we right, have some ladies. very anxious judges over here. Very ready judges over here. Hold on for one second. Oh, Why don't you guys bring your stuff over and we'll get the mics on you so that you can present. They could be the sleeper tonight. Who knows? Ladies, are you ready? Yeah. We're ready. Yeah. <laughs> you can, is that the younger sister? Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> All right, ladies, come on down. Okay, are you ready? We're ready. Oh, I'm not supposed to say what it is. So this is a snack first. Some of you may have, um, no, you don't know anything about it. Um, we're calling these uh, curios. Yeah, that's points for creativity right there. So it's a little cilantro. We made a pesto out of the, uh, the pepper leaves. Um, so a little Parmesan, garlic, olive oil, and then just topped it with a little curry. The Jamaican curry that's in the uh, curry, main curry dish. Okay, so go ahead and present those and then bring your second course up. I hope you, I hope these judges didn't eat this week. So Kevin's going to help you do the next course. All right, second course coming on down. Judges are already conversing big time. Uh, they're, they're having some interesting conversations over here. All right, so our second course up, let's, let's hear a little bit about it. Oh. <laughs> All right, so this is our like Jamaican curry something or other, and we were discussing as we were deciding what to do, that we're gonna call it Jamaican Me Curry Your Favor. <laughs> we like the puns on this team. So there's sweet potato. We, we got to stick the spam in here, because, you know, here we go. So I hope you like it. And then we topped it with some crispy wonton. Well, lumpia wrapper. Okay, go ahead and present it. Sweet, beautiful. All right, teams that are remaining, if they're still cooking, I want to remind you that you now have going on five minutes. If you were not finished, you were out of luck. Okay, ladies, and I think you've got another thing coming down too, right? Kevin, the Coast Guard is never boring at all. So Kevin has once again done another wardrobe change. <laughs> I, the, the lighting in here is burning my head, so I wanted to cover it a little. So all right, all right, is this our final one or no? Okay, this is our final one. So it's your turn. This is me. Okay, so these are pan fried pear pies. Because they always start with P, and that sounds fun. Um, but um, I actually made this up here right now, so it's a bit of a risk. It's a uh, Pear pie filling uh, mixed up with some Cheerios to give it a little bit extra texture. Wrapped in a lupia wrapper, pan fried and topped with powdered sugar. Okay, it sounds great. So let's. Uh, That's super cool. 
I can't repeat the name of it. Very nice. Three minutes and 44 seconds remaining. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. You all better hurry. Duxbury's on it over here. You getting a little nervous about the time? He's getting a little nervous. No, it's mine. Hey, the judges are trying to steal my hats. I got the judges trying to take my hat, so we'll uh, move this All over right. here. The judges are contemplating. Okay. We've got one team that may or may not finish, Kevin. Oh, we're talking to. Uh, we got two, just just under three minutes. Just under three minutes. If you're not done, you are not done. Look at this one down here, Kevin. Whoa. Wow. I got him. There's a lot going on down here. Okay, so you're gonna wanna have some stuff on your plate, on these on these plates for the crowd while the judges go. Alright, so our our one team down here is working busily to uh, get this plated for our judges. Judges, are we about ready? What member, what member of the audience would like to come up and uh, try one of the Klee's sisters' dish? Okay. Okay. Okay, so turn around. We want your reaction. You are on camera. Is it good? Is it comfort food or gourmet or how would you say? I'm from the south, so comfort food. Ah, she's from the south, so it's comfort food. Very, I, it smells amazing. All right, a minute thirty. You minute thirty. We have another team that's minute done. Are you ready? Have a bike. Okay. All right, Michelle. Woo, pretty good. Pretty spicy. That's awesome. All right. Thank you. So we have our next we have our next team that's ready to go. A minute eleven. All right, oh let's go and, uh, come on over here. One minute. One go. minute. One minute. Fifty six seconds. All right, we're 30, getting down. 30 seconds. Will 30 this seconds. team finish or not? He's, oh my goodness, holy smokes. 20 seconds. The drama. 20 seconds. Six, 15, 13, 10, seven, six, five, four, Holy smokes! Good job, guys. Good job. Captain Duxbury, excellent. Okay. Are we All ready? right. Go ahead. So, uh, Carol, let's go talk about this dish. Okay. So we have a surf and turf kebab. There, uh, with a spicy barbecue sauce served on a bed of coconut rice with some of the chili leaves, served in a pineapple boat with a, um, a spring roll that's got the sausage, the chicken apple so or uh, mango sausage, and, and the spam. spam. <laughs> and we have a spicy slaw that's also got the, the leaves in it and uh, some peppers and stuff. And then we still got dessert. And they still have dessert. Okay, serve it up. So just so you know what the judges are seeing, pretty darn cool, right? Yeah. Hey, Kevin, check this out. Should we eat this or should we allow someone else to eat it? Well, let's just turn our backs and see what happens. No. <laughs> and then check out the dessert. And I think the dessert looks pretty darn good, too. 
I'll tell you what. What I just tasted from the Clee Sisters, woo! Ladies, quick high five on that. Oh my goodness. That was so good. Ooh, I want to eat this right now. Should we take this away from the judges? Yes. No, because that would hurt the team. They can share. I like the, I like the, the uh, toastios in there. I know, right? Okay. Did we get she, the oh, the ah! <laughs> See, that's what, that's what happens when you're the commander's wife. It just like, psh, you're done. Did we, get, did we get the description of this? Oh, right. Yeah. Let's Wait. get a description. Don't, don't run off. All right, team. Miss Karen, we'd like a description. So it's a play on a Rice Krispie treat, only with the Tosios. And then we made a soft ice cream with a coconut and pineapple. And then we did a coulis with kiwis and strawberries marinated in a mango vinegar. Wow. OK, who thinks that we ought to publish that recipe on the Live and Catch Can Facebook page? Yeah, <laughs> everyone's like, oh. well, Don is like, hey, I might need that for my next cookbook. <laughs> Everyone's kind of looking uh, really full already. Oh, the judges don't want to give up some of the plates already. They don't. They're eating too much. All right. Remember, we still have two more teams. Do y'all have anything left over down here that we can? All right. Who would like to come up here and take a little taste of that? All right. You right there. Come on up. Let's do a little ice cream plate up here. Looks delicious. That looks wonderful. Yes, it does. Hey, <laughs> All right, everyone, wait with rapt attention. Where's my Jeopardy theme, yeah, well, Jeopardy theme music? Well, that'll screw up the microphone. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that is so delicious. Mm. Okay, so everyone needs to run out and buy their own ice cream maker. Get this recipe and you'll be all good to go. Good job. Great job, guys. Look, wait, hello. Do you notice all the kids are around? It's like the ice cream truck up here. <laughs> all right. Oh wait, we've got more presenters. Okay, we're gonna... Hold on, we've got a question from one of the judges. Hold on, one second. Were they required to use every ingredient in the dish? They were required to use every ingredient, although the quantity was not specified. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, our third team is about to present, so we're going to get a description of what we uh, what we have here. So we uh, took a pork loin and made it into a, a cutlet, medallions cut first. Then we breaded it with a mixture of Cheerios and um, pistachios, yellow curry, and a little bit of Cajun spice. And then we cooked it for a nutty flavor in uh, a sesame, a roasted sesame seed oil. And then we stir fried vegetables with the kaffir leaves and uh, a green curry and uh, just a little bit of spice. And then next we took the lumpia, lumpia uh, wrappers. Uh, we spread uh, a paste and a, a wash of chipotle, but not a hot chipotle, over the wrappers. We wrapped up the sausage and um, sauteed that after cooking the sausage first and sauteed it, the wrappers. Then we, had, uh, we made a fresh salsa style uh, garnish to go with it that has radishes in it, it has um, onions, red peppers, cilantro, and of course uh, some mango, and a little bit of the, uh, the capri. I see you have an you already have a fan in Richard Garcia. Wait, hold on, let's hear that. I said, that's a mouthful of stuff to remember. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go ahead and uh, present it to our judges here. Which of our judges is full already? So we, uh, <laughs> Cameo's not. <laughs> so, so the sauce is also thickened with uh, powdered uh, Cheerios. Oh, all right. Oh, we've got another one. 
So as you know, Captain Duxbury has another very cool dish. Okay, here's our dessert. So we took uh, fresh fruit, just basic fresh fruit at home, and tried to make something that everybody could make very easy. You go to the store, you buy yourself some Yoplait uh, key lime pie yogurt, mince up a little bit of mint leaves in it, uh, mix it together with fresh fruits of whatever your desire is. But then we took the maple syrup that we brought uh, from Vermont, uh, from my sister's farm, by the way, and uh, we took that and um, we uh, cooked the Cheerios in it, caramelized them, let them get a little hard, then we added a little, little lime uh, and ascorbic acid lime powder to it to give it a pop flavor, and it uh, brings out the flavor in the yogurt. It's very simple for you to make at home. And I got a little taste of the, the Cheerios in the uh, syrup, and it was excellent. Very cool. Miss Linda said that if she were a judge right now, she might have the following comments. Come on up. I, I don't know what comment that I would have because it's just amazing every year what people do. Well, I think it, this is wonderful. I, th I have a loud voice on the microphone's boom, but this is wonderful and I really we can't like hear the you. spice. And the shrimp down here and the ice cream is to die for. So we haven't got these two yet. So I know. I'm waiting. We haven't gotten the young studs up yet. So we need to talk about the box again back here for the voting. The what? The box. Okay. Who has not voted for the people's choice yet? So while the judges are in the wardroom, I think that you all should come up here and sample a little bit of food and then go vote liberally because remember, this event has all of the ticket sales going towards the Shelton Family Memorial Fund, which is totally awesome, right? We still have other great charities. And so we want to send some cash home with them. So if you're so inclined, visit the pot of money over there. Vote early, vote often, while the judges retire to the ward room. And I think we've got one more team. Okay, we've got some animated stuff going on down there. Hey, Kevin, yes. do you want to interview these guys or do you want me to? No, I think you should. Well, the last time I said, how old are you? Well, well listen, you, you're going to probably get better answers out of them than I will, even though they work for me. So well, hopefully I won't ask such embarrassing questions. <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, we'll go for it. Okay. If, if I need to take over with them, then I will, but I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, start. perfect. Okay, gentlemen, the last time you guys picked and, and created this amazing dish that was like, okay, I would serve this in my house. Give me your inspiration for tonight. Well, I'm from South Louisiana, uh, and he's also from the South. Uh, so we went with a gumbo type deal, a little thicker than we would normally do for a gumbo, because we needed to stay together on a plate. Uh, so that's where we're going with that. Very cool. All right, what do you think? Are you just along for the ride, or did you kind of lead the charge here? No, no, that's all him. Oh, that's all him. You're, you're not taking any blame or any... <laughs> I'll take it all. I actually roped him into being in here tonight. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, you guys, this looks great. Now, I'll tell you what, that cornbread, to do that on a butane burner? Whew. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, if you all want great home-cooked food, these guys are where it's at. Because I'll tell you what, I tried their stuff last week. Oh my goodness. Well, based on the couple of meals they prepared, I'm going to start let's, asking let's, them to Let's cook show a little plate around here. Yeah. I want to eat this in my house, like Tuesday. All right, judges. Are you guys ready for the final team? I know, Sean is like, how do I eat anymore? It's all so amazing. Okay, I, I know, it's gonna be super hard. So, gentlemen, come on down, and I will let Kevin take over so I don't ask any further embarrassing questions. Okay, so let's describe for the judges here what we're serving. So back home, we always eat our gumbo on a saltine cracker. So we made the looper wrapper into an actual saltine cracker. We used the coconut in the actual rice. And then we made gumbo on top of it that has your spam, your sausage. And then we made cornbread. Now with the Cheerios or the whatever they may be called, we moved it into the cornmeal and then we just baked it up. All right, this sounds great. I, 
I'm thinking about having these guys start cooking to work for us. So. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and present it. Very nice. LaDonna looks uh, strangely full. She's like, I don't know if I can eat anymore. I'm so used to eating salmon every day. I'm so used to eating salmon every day, I get to eat something new. <laughs> Richard's digging into the cornbread there. He's like, woohoo! I don't think, I will tell you what, folks, I don't think that I have ever seen a group of judges ever so voraciously dig into a but look cameo is like this is my territory i'm staying here but i've never seen our judges ever dig into dishes like they have this year so kudos to all of the teams y'all rocked it so far now not to leave you guys out kevin nor you either because as the judges retire to the ward room we're going to invite you all up to come and sample everything up here We have, we have a problem on, on aisle two over here. Uh, the Klee sisters already gave out all their samples. I see, I see a little. They said they were just having fun, so they gave out all their samples already. There's a little, little bit I of I think there's like a little taste in there. So if you want to come up and lick the pot, it's up here right now. We're new, we're new. We're new at this. Next year, we're going to have enough for everyone. <laughs> I think inquiring minds really want to know, I mean, you guys took it down to the wire. What was going through your head? Um, timing is a, it's an interesting thing when you're cooking because I'm trying to get out of my head for the artwork and not getting to the flavors I wanted and trying to be a perfectionist with the burners that work differently. And the pressure of the time is really a, a really interesting uh, key factor in how, how that goes, you know, tick, tick, tick. So um, we, uh, we just... Yeah. I think we did okay, we just could have timed it a little bit better. Yeah. So you've been in this before, Steve. Yep. So the question is, and you've practiced a lot, did this one go down differently than other years? Absolutely. Um, the last time we practiced five times, I think, and we only got one practice in because we were all busy. So it was a matter of figuring out on Sunday what we wanted to do. And then Wednesday, we both or Tuesday, we both had a night. We cooked. It worked. It was a little time issue, but we didn't have. We thought, you know what? We kind of wrote it all out, and then came tonight. All right. So, what was your what was your happiest part about what you cooked tonight? What, what we cooked. Um, I think the vegetables were good, and I really my favorite dish here is the uh, lumpia wrapped. Uh, um, sausage. I think that sausage is wonderful. I don't think it takes a whole lot to make it taste even a little, just a little bit, make it pop. So it's a very good product that comes out of the store. All right. So last word about your charity. Why should people put their dollar in the pot of money for you? Because our kids deserve it. And this community is always about kids and growing up in this town. I grew up here and I know, don't take that against me, okay? Um, <laughs> But our kids deserve it. And we have kids that don't have a lot. We have kids that are homeless. We have kids that, that need our help. Very cool. Good job, guys. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, ladies, come on down. Well, we have a judge running. <laughs> One of the judges like, quick, get me out of here. So now that we're now that you've presented your meals, we're kind of done. It's time to relax a little. What do you, what'd you think? Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, I, I actually found out I was going to be in this yesterday. So, um, and that's not enough time to prepare? Oh, it's totally enough time. Couldn't you tell? Yeah. Uh, well, you guys were done first, so. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> now we're pulling out Talladega Night quotes for us. So, Lindsay, coming into this, you know, you're a seasoned chef. You've been on a lot of our shows. And, 
you got the ingredients, what was going through your head, and were you feeling kind of in your groove tonight? Absolutely in my groove. So I think that what caught me off guard a little bit was, you know, like when you'd come and ask questions and I'm like, I'm chopping. You know, like, <laughs> I'm in the zone. But yeah, I do just get into like a tunnel vision and like, what? what? You, I think you asked me like, what are you making? I said, I'm chopping onions. You know? <laughs> so what was, the, what was the favorite part about the meal that you guys cooked tonight? And you know what? I'm biased, of course, because I've got two daughters, but I love the sister thing going on. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Yeah. We I, I think they... Everyone, everyone collectively go, aww. Well, they, they just said they coordinated. If you look at their earrings closely... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got cheese. Cheese, once a Cheese earrings. Hamburgers. And hamburgers. Very cool. <laughs> That's great. Thank you guys so much. Come on down, gentlemen. We're fixing to ask you some questions. Kevin? No, I'll, I'll let you start with these guys because they have good answers for you. Oh, they do. <laughs> yeah, they always have good answers for me. Guys, when you made it out of the prelims, did you ever think that, A, you were going to make it out of the prelims? And when you got the ingredient list, what was going through your head? Uh, got the ingredient list. It was, uh, it was kind of a shock. We weren't expecting that at all. What was the hardest thing about tonight for you guys? Were you stressed about anything? What, what was kind of going through your head? The Cheerios actually are the ones that kind of got to us the most. Really? Really? Why is that? I'll let him answer that one. He's a nice uh, it's super, super grainy, really hard to cook with, especially over open heat. To get it to actually be even all the way across, not easy for us. All right. Okay. Very cool. All right. Good job, guys. I mean, you think about this. This team has had to do this twice in two weeks. So there's something to be said for that. Good job, guys. And another team that has had to do it twice in two weeks. But remember, you can always see Ms. Karen down at Sweet Mermaids. Okay. All right. What were you thinking? I mean, you guys were, you've got the dishes, you've got the fancy. I felt like I was on a cruise ship looking at your food. It's kind of just what came to me. So was she leading the show or you just kind of followed along? <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> All you say is, yes, chef. <laughs> it. Um, it keeps me out of trouble. But no, I mean, we, uh, we, had, a, we had a pretty good plan. <laughs> Everything was nice and comfortable. Time was tight, very tight, but it's good. Came out pretty good. All right. I think we all ought to give it up for all of these teams because who could do this in their own home in less than an hour? And certainly thanks to our esteemed panel of judges. I mean, I just don't think that we could have had a better crew of foodies from Ketchikan here in one place at one time, right? Tatsudas, happy 100th anniversary. That is amazing. We're so thankful for everything that you do for our community. So folks, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put the time to be quiet thing down now. You can have all the fun you want until we come back in about 10 minutes because we're gonna take our judges to the wardroom and they're gonna have some pretty, I think, some heavy hitting discussions and we'll announce a winner. Welcome to the wardroom. This is where judgments are made and important <laughs> decisions happen, especially at the Coast Guard base. However, tonight, <laughs> it will be up to you to decide which one of these four awesome teams is the winner. Bragging rights. This has been going on for a couple of different years, and there was some stiff competition. I'm not ready to pass the torch yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to leave it to you. We're going to allow you to converse amongst yourselves, and you must come up with a clear winner in approximately 10 minutes. Oh, 10 oh. minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, Lord. Do this. So right. Richard? Right there. You got it. All right. Um, so we're gonna let okay, you okay, okay, discuss okay. it. Okay, 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 okay. My 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 first my first um, take was on the first dish made. 
the so that's why I'm going by who was who scored oh, first. Yeah. Was the sisters. Um, creativity was there. All the ingredients were there. Um, presentation was, was spot on the way you would think you would serve a meal. Even at the home, you would serve a meal the same way. Um, taste was there. Uh, the, you know, you could have ate that. The, 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 the curry with mm -hmm. the rice and everything. I agree. With the spam and everything. You could have just ate that whole mm -hmm. bowl if you wanted to. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I had to stop myself. Yeah. 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 I got more to eat. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I want to keep yeah. this because I, I, I eat saved it later. it next to me. So it makes yeah. it took it so yeah. I would have it to eat later. And we yeah. were all yeah. Yeah. We all, I think we all did. My little boy grabbed mine and ate it. Oh, yeah. Well, he be good, too. And I think we were all concerned when we saw it, like whether or not the sweet potatoes and stuff we're going right. to be cooking. Yeah, we were. Yeah. And then yeah. the, and the spam and the sweet potatoes you had like the same point. texture, and they yeah. were so good. And it was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. What, what, really what I liked perfect. about it yeah. is in that short amount of time how the flavors came yeah. up. Yeah. And the yeah. flavors yes. were all yeah. there and yeah. had that yeah. depth of flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I also have to say on the little um, the little turnover. Curry. Oh, I was going to say The little curry. the squeeze of lemon was yeah. really nice. Because you have all those flavors. You have something deep fried, and then you have that little burst of acid that really makes it. And I wouldn't normally eat spam ever. <laughs> yeah. And if I ordered that in a restaurant, I, I would have eaten all that. Yeah. 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 And then yeah, yeah, exactly. and the curios, and the curios, the curios, the curios were great. Yeah. Were That's really very creative. creative. Yeah. Those yeah. Were the, the, only, the only thing that really held you back from eating the whole dish was that there's more dishes. Exactly. Yeah, That's the only because, thing that would hold yeah. you back from yeah. that. Yeah. You know Absolutely. what it reminded me of? It reminded me of something that Keith's Kitchen would have made. Like yeah, I understand. It reminded me of something that you would have ordered at Kate. Yeah, it was very yeah. simple. Yeah. I it loved it. Super yeah. like because yeah. our next one that did have a lot in presentation, which was Plus awesome it was too. The color. Yeah. It had that, that, was that, very okay, that, would, that, that would be the senior. Oh, part. and let's talk about the dessert. Yeah, the dessert. The little yeah. dessert was yummy. It was super delicious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was. I think it was like a pear fritter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. 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 with powdered sugar. Perfect. Not super yeah. sweet. Yeah. Little not glazing. A, yeah. And it was yeah. nice. Well, that crispy, lemon was perfect. Was yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. The lumpy wrapper was yeah. Yeah. excellent yeah. because yeah. some people have trouble yes. cooking the lumpy wrapper. Yeah. Well, and yeah. from eating the the spicy well, then the lumpy wrapper curry yeah. to the yeah. 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 Down too. It was a nice palate cleanser. Some of cleanser. Yeah, yeah. It was a nice palate cleanser. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. So, so they're so my favorite. My, I mean, my, yeah. they're definitely in my in my top. Okay. Next oh is uh, the senior I call them uh, the senior coasties. One, yeah, and wife. Yeah, senior and coasties wife. and wife. Yeah. And that oh, was great. Um, sweet mermaid. Yeah. yeah. Sweet mermaid. Yeah. Oh, I called them that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, presentation wise, they oh, nailed it. They nailed it. Did. it. They, they did. did. As far they did. as they blew I felt like car. I was at a party. Yeah. 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 Oh, why <laughs> blew out party? Yeah. 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 <laughs> the, the, you know what? Everything, everything was great with them, but the only, the only, the only downside to that was they took the heart out of the pineapple and didn't incorporate it back into yep, the back. Oh, that's yes, the first rule yeah. of dining yeah. is yeah. you should be able to eat yeah. everything yeah. on yeah. your plate. I mean, yeah. was, the, the, the pineapple was just there as a vessel. Well, right. and but, I, you know, and I then, was really you know, bummed. Uh, it would have been nice if they would have got that and put it back into the coleslaw or even back on the skewer. On the skewer, yeah. yeah. It was super creative. Yeah, but yeah, it was creative yeah. using that just the the um, shell, but it would have been nice. The, the, the sheer amount of food that they made in that. Yeah. They made yeah. 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 Ye
The salsa it was soggy was because good. it went the in. Salsa I was really the, good. The salsa was great, but I think the it was a whole the oil wasn't hot. Yeah. Okay, okay, but the oil yeah. wasn't hot. But then they again, but then again, they, they have they have a lot of curry in it. You know, it took away some of the flavor, but you know, but then again, though, they they were waiting a little while. You know, they were done yeah. right after the team was. So that's that's they the reason. They a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that's another reason why their dish would get soggy. But I think there, just but. wrapping the whole yeah. sausage in a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, 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 it
Top Chef. But you guys all did a really great job um, watching, going through the lines. Everyone had really clear ideas about what they were doing, and all the food was really well executed. There wasn't any, you know, we did have quite a discussion about all four of them, and so we have to give it up to all of you guys for butane burners and some very strange ingredients and a bunch of people staring at you. I mean, it's hard to it's hard enough to cook at home for your family, let alone a bunch of people watching. I just wanted to thank all of you for one of the best meals overall that I've had in Catch Can in a really long time. So thank you very much. And also to say that there are four teams here and every single team came out on top in one way. So it was incredibly difficult to choose winners. So congratulations to all of you because you all had components that were just spectacular tonight. So thank you and congratulations. Yeah, I just want to echo everything that they all said. Um, it, all of you guys did a fantastic job. And I want to thank you for cooking dinner for me tonight and also my children. So this really saved me some time. And, um, and really, this is the best food that I've eaten in a very long time. So thank you, guys. Kevin, do you have any announcements from the People's Choice or auction? Rachel, do we have an amount of how there much we raised in the auction? We're recounting, but we believe it's $2,068. Very cool. And based on the ticket sales for this evening, we have gotten at least, at the very minimum, $1,000 for the Shelton Memorial Family Fund. So I don't know. I don't know I, what to announce it. I don't... Uh, yeah. I say this every year, but I mean, like, seriously, this year, I really don't. Yeah, I'm not, not sure yet. And we are busily working on our, on our People Choice Award. They're... Uh, Italian those votes for us, so we'll get those uh, okay. shortly. However, the winning team will also receive some very, very cool prizes. They're going to get a $50 gift certificate to Glory Bee, which is a super cool shop, right? $50 to Bernie's, as well as $100 each. This is each for all of these gift certificates. $100 each to Tatsudas. So. How many... How many boxes of Toastios will that buy them? <laughs> a lot, okay. I, I just don't want to even announce. Well, you have to because I don't know. I know I have to, know. I know I have to. Because oh. everyone did such a great job and it was super hard, right? And I think just like someone over there said, there was something fantastic about each and every meal. And there was a heated discussion in there about all four teams. So with that being said, we actually have a winner. And the winner is the Klee sisters. I'm not sure, but I think they're happy. <laughs> I think they are too. And we are super happy that all of the community came out to not only be with us here on the Coast Guard base, but to support these great causes. So, oh, we've got People's Choice, People's oh, Choice. We got, we got one more thing to announce. Hang on just a second. Ladies, what do you think? I mean, it's kind of the come behind victory. Definitely combined. We were so excited to be here and happy about it and didn't expect it, but we had such fun. So this was awesome. We had such a great time prepping for this. We practiced, our only time we could practice was last night and we tried the, the main dish curry and, and our curios and we just kind of, um, we looked at each other and we kind of knew that this is a good dish and we left out a jalapeno, but. You know. So who do you think was your biggest competition? Actually, everyone was, but going into it, who did you think was? Well, we didn't know 
what anyone was bringing, but definitely I looked left, saw that presentation, was like, oh man. And then also when we looked to them when we started and saw that pork tenderloin, I'm like, oh no. And then the cornbread, I'm like, they make cornbread? <laughs> we don't even have an oven and they're deep frying stuff. So we were like kind of stirring a pot of stuff like, eh, I don't know guys, you know. One pot <laughs> meals, right? <laughs> <laughs> One pot meals. So if you were going to give advice to a future Top Chef contestant, what would it be? Keep it simple and have a good personality. <laughs> and wear cute aprons, right? Well, it was fine. Just keep it simple. Because there's going to be some stuff that's unexpected. Like, I, I spilled Cheerios everywhere. Yeah. But like, yeah. um, Who's and give me this place? <laughs> well, and then there's the spam, and we, we saw it was spam, and we looked at each other and said, throw it in the curry. <laughs> keep it simple. Perfect. Who knew that you used spam in the curry? Well, thank you. Congratulations. And we'll have to have you both back as judges. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so uh, after uh, a tough counting process we had going on out there, we, uh, we thank you all of you for, for voting um, by putting your dollar in there and voting for your uh, favorite team. That money will go to their charity. So uh, counted up the votes. Uh, we ended up with uh, $250, and our People's Choice winner is our team on the end from the station. Good job, guys. Very cool. Again, I wanted to thank everyone for participating. This has been an amazing event, not only for our community, as always, but thank you all for coming out and promoting your charities and putting yourselves through the gauntlet of being in Top Chef. Uh, I, I just couldn't imagine having to do this in 60 minutes or less, and you guys did it and did it well. So thank you all. Thank you to the community for coming out. Thanks to Tetsudas for sponsoring this, as well as all of our other sponsors and our wonderful judges.